We can trace this blower out right away, but I prefer having the traces on a new sketch. Let's select the green check mark to exit out of sketch one. Head over to our front view. Right click on this and uh, let's create a new sketch. Let me start off by creating a vertical line to define the diameter of the blower's hole, hitting L for line. Let me left click here and left click, hit escape, hit D for dimension. Let me dimension this to be, I prefer 46, hitting escape and I want the midpoint of this vertical line coincident with our origin. Heading over to our constraints, selecting midpoint, selecting this vertical line and our origin. Let me zoom out. Moving forward, let's trace out the contours of this blower. And this time utilizing the spline. So let's head up to our sketch toolbar. I'm going to select spline. Let me zoom in. Let's drop our first point on this add point. And if you would like to disable snap tracking, it's simply holding the shift button on our keyboard. So I'm still holding the shift button. And left click here, hitting escape. And escape once more. In addition, we can refine the curvature of the spline by grabbing its points. Let me raise this up. I'm okay with this uh, curvature. Next, I would like to mirror out this spline Using this horizontal line, heading up, selecting mirror, and for that mirror line, it will be this horizontal construction line, and the entity to mirror is the spline. Hitting escape. Moving forward, let's uh, trace out this separation by creating a spline, grabbing our spline once more, holding shift, to disable snap tracking. Moving down. And double left click. Let's inspect and refine this. Also, I would like you to take in mind that this image was captured using a camera. So a camera utilizes a perspective view. And for the end of our blower, I prefer creating or utilizing an arc. So heading up, selecting three-point arc. Let me hold shift, left click here, left click. And left click, hitting escape, let me refine the position of this arc. Next, to define the details, let's uh, utilize our spline once more. Dropping our first spline point here, holding shift. Double left click, hitting escape and refining our spline points. Grabbing our spline once more to create the detail here. Double left click. Refining the spline points, creating another spline.
Let's create another spline here. Hitting escape. Refining this spline points. And for this detail, I prefer mirroring out this spline. So let me select a mirror, selecting our horizontal construction line and selecting the spline. Hitting escape. And let me move the spline points to avoid the edges of the handle. So moving this spline points Let's uh, zoom out, double clicking our mouse wheel. And to prevent this entities from accidentally moving, I'm going to create a window selection, head up to our constraints and select fix. So notice it turned into black. In addition to remove this error, let's simply zoom in and delete the midpoint constraint. So selecting midpoint and hitting delete. Outline of the blower now all set. Selecting the green check mark.